All right, guys, got a bunch of stuff to get done here today. Um, it's late in the afternoon. It's already, it's literally 2.59 in the afternoon. We're going to a county campus, which I'm not really going to record. We'll get into that more a little bit later on. I uh, just have to master key a few locks for them, grandmaster a few locks for them. Uh, we have to go do, meet a guy and take care of an 89 Forerunner. He pulled the passenger side door lock out. Then I still have to take care of that Ford Explorer, changing the batteries out in the remote. And then we have to go install a handle set and a combination lock in Woodridge. And I'll be back with you guys shortly right after I pull into this campus. All right, so this was just a matter of Grandmaster keying a couple of cylinders. And I'm not going to show you their cuts or information, but that's what I just did here. All right, so we did that campus, and uh, I just had a little rant here that I wanted to talk about. If you guys remember, uh, about a week or so ago, I got a call uh, during my day to take care of a Hebrew day school that I said I didn't want to record at because, you know, there's people out there that are, that are sick bastards that want to go in schools with guns and shoot, shoot innocent kids and stuff like that. Anyway, that school that I did not record ends up, I'm reading the paper this morning uh, online, Mid-Hudson News, like quarter after seven this morning, I read an article. That school uh, had an armed robbery just a couple of days ago. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with people? I mean, why would you go in and do an armed robbery on a school? I mean, you would have to be a complete moron. There's there's stores everywhere right now that are loaded full of cash. You know, I mean, they may be doing drops. I mean, you gotta roll the dice, but a school? What are you getting, lunch money? You literally have to be a complete moron. I mean, the charges are even gonna be worse at a school because now you have endangering the welfare of children and everything else. Whoever did that, you are a complete moron, plain and simple. And it, it's a perfect example why I won't record in a school. I mean, they have the guy's description. Uh, they have, I'll, I'll post the article. And you can pause it and read it. There's one way in, one way out, big long driveway in and out of the school. Uh, they have the description of his car, the, the front end is wrecked in it or something like that, the paper said. And they have the last four digits of the guy's license plate number. I mean, the guy's a complete moron, plain, simple. I mean, it doesn't get any dumber than that. Well, I mean, what are you going into, to what, $50? I mean, listen, you're going for armed robbery regardless. You're gonna rob some place like that with a gun? At least make some money off of it so you can try to get away. I mean, you're not even filling up your freaking gas tank with what you're getting out of the school. I mean, it's just, Plain stupid, unless he knows something about the school, I don't know. I mean, you gotta be a complete moron. I mean, there's stores all over the place. No credit cards accepted, cash only. You wouldn't go hit that store. And the people that do that on the front of their doors are asking for a problem. But anyway, I'm gonna be pulling into Walmart. I have to meet this guy. Uh, he has an 89 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, he has the passenger side door lock out. I gave him a price, he said okay. So I'm just gonna read the code off the lock and cut it out on the Gymkhana. And we got a few other things that we gotta get done here. And I'll be back with you. I'm just pulling into the back side of Walmart now to meet this guy. I'll be back with you when he's here. All right, so on this Toyota, if you look, we got a K0084, looks to be. That's going to be our key code for this 89 Forerunner. I'm going to cut this out on the Gymkhana. All right, so with this old Forerunner, this is the blank. It's an X137 or TR33. And we're going to search this by blank. X137. And that's going to bring up our code series. We're going to hit next. We're going to enter the code, and that was, let me look at that again, it 
it was K0084. K0084. Enter. And yes. Six cut. Next. All right. We do have to use the shoulder stop on this. So what you do, this is this is the shoulder stop. You insert this. Then you insert your blank to the shoulder stop. This is a little tough one-handed. Tighten that down. And move that shoulder stop. We're going to hit cut. It's going to ask us if we removed it. Okay, I do have it. It's right here. It's got two little magnets under it. And this is going to cut. We're going to check it in this lock. Okay, so this key is done. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Brush this off. Let's just see what we got here. And there we go. Perfect working key. Let me cut them one more and we'll be all set. All right, so the second key is done. Let's just try this. And that one's perfect too. All right, he's good to go. All right, so the other two jobs I just had to call and cancel because now I have a woman here in Monticello, literally, you know, four miles up the road that has an 06 Explorer with no keys. So we're gonna go help her out with that. And I will be back with you shortly. Okay, so we are just pulling into Explorer, but it's actually, she said 44, but it's at the actual house next door in the driveway. Right there. Alright, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so I read this out. This has 2 through 7 in the door lock. So I'm just going to run a fill program and see what it comes up with. All right, so I ran the fill program on this and comes up with one possibility, 0553X. I'm going to cut this out and see if it works. All right, so I had a real bad miscut, but this key was so deep, I was able to use this. I should have cut it on a metal, but there weren't. There wasn't any left on the hook, and I didn't feel like digging. That's the door. In the ignition, we are golden. Beautiful. All right, cut one more of these and we'll program it. All right, so the first key is in and on. I don't want to jump around on this thing too much because this jack is literally up off the ground. But there's our flashing. Well, let me show you that again. There's our flashing security light. And second key. Choose Ford. Agree. vehicle, a mobilizer, explorer, 6 to 10, all keys lost, yes, ignition is already on, yes, we want to bypass it, okay, shut this key off, next key in and on, Watching security up there. It's gonna stay on. Turn this off. Original key back in. On and now it's off. And now we can go back to the other key, make sure that security comes on and then goes off. Perfect. Alright, let me unplug from this jalopy. Start 
Let's see if it runs. I don't know. Key one, security's out. Next key. Security's on, security's off. Perfect. We are done with this and moving on. Okay. So that took forever for them to go get the money and come back. Anyway, I am leaving Monticello. Um, it's five after five. I am running to Hurleyville. We're gonna do these Explorer Prox Key batteries, and I'll be right back with you while we're pulling in. All right, so we just pulled in our Explorer. I'll be back with you uh, in a second. All right, so this is just two Ford remote proxes. I'm going to show you guys how to change the batteries in these. So the way you do these Ford remotes, you push this button down, and this lifts up straight up this way and slides out from the back because that portion right there hooks underneath that. And then you can just pull this apart. Tough to do one-handed here. this up and your batteries are right there all right and when you pop this battery up you're gonna have a piece of paper underneath here this pops up flips out of the way and then you just lift this paper up real careful hard to do one-handed lift this piece of paper up and then you just pop this other battery out from underneath here and then change them all right, so the first battery I have back in there, and then this piece of paper, so difficult one-handed. This piece of paper goes in between the batteries. I use energizers, and you just take this other 2025. This one goes upside down, so it's negative to negative. And then this just pops back together. so and you put your emergency key down in there and then you just pop the back cover on real simple and there you go two changed remotes and they both work perfect I did this key for him originally years ago and still has my tag on it okay and it's remote number one perfect and remote number two if I could hit the button perfect all right, so we took care of the Explorer Proxes. We put four new batteries in there. He was happy. One of them was completely dead. But anyway, it's uh, 5.30. I am headed home. I appreciate you guys watching, and don't forget that thumbs up.